St. Lucia and Taiwan relations continue to positively impact the lives of the citizenry through various development initiatives. Taiwan has made available a further $3.2 million in development funding, which the peer administration will channel through the St. Lucian community. Part of the Taiwanese funding was allocated to construct the Basse Joseph Human Resource Development Center in the Castries South constituency. The funds will also support the government's maintenance program for sporting facilities throughout the island. An allocation was also made to support the Safe Spaces project. As Honorable Prime Minister Felicia Pierre underlined the priority of the safety and security of citizens in his New Year's address, and Honorable Kenson Kasmi, Minister for Youth Development and Sports, also highlighted the importance of maintenance of sports facilities for youth development in his address on 41st National Sports Awards. The three projects today have not only echoed the idea presented by Honorable Prime Minister and Honorable Minister Kasmir, but also timely demonstrated the determination and execu execution ability of St. Lucia government. In this regard, Taiwan, as a long-standing development partner, is very proud to be part of this project. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre, on behalf of the government of St. Lucia, expressed his gratitude to Taiwan and remarked on how the funding will be directed to strengthen the island's social safety nets, develop local sporting infrastructure, and improve St. Lucia's human capital. What is significant in these three projects today is all of them are people-centered projects, all the related to people. The Safe Space Project, people, the rehabilitation of human resource centers, people, rehabilitation of sports facilities, all of them involve people. So it just shows and demonstrates that our mantra of putting people first is clear, not only in words, but in deed. And all these policies relate to people. But I'm particularly pleased about the last one, rehab, re rehabilitation of sports facilities, because the Mindo Philip Park is going to be done is going to be done in that phase. So all the doubting Thomases about jazz, <clears throat> all the doubting Thomases about jazz at the Mindo Philip Park. Let them rest assured that jazz will be held at the Mindo Philip Park, <clears throat> and. And the funding for the repairs to the facilities at Mindo Philip Park will happen. So the sportsmen will get the, the, the facility repaired. The Taiwan ambassador handed over the final tranche during a brief ceremony before the cabinet of ministers and senior government officials on February 27th. From the office of the prime minister, Rihanna Yezid.